Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and for those of you who are new, welcome as well. In today's video, I'm going to show you two of my favorite summer glowy looks, and I'm so excited, so let's go ahead and get started. So in this look, we're not going to be using eyeshadow, so I'm taking my foundation brush. I used the Lancome Tinted Doll Foundation, and just put that over my eyes, and then use some powder just to give it a nice matte look. Next I'm using my favorite mascara, L'Oreal Miss Manga, and I'm going to coat my lashes with that, and then use my LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer as my base. And next I'm using this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Since we're not using falsies, I want my lashes to be really nice and full. And next we're going to color correct. I'm using my Anastasia Cream Contour Warm Coral Color that I always use. And then I'm going to blend that out just a little bit. And next I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've been in love with the Dream Lumi for so long, but this one is just so creamy and perfect. It blends perfectly, covers any dark circles, and it can be a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer, but I've heard this one blends a little bit better. I haven't tried the NARS one yet because I've been so stuck on this one, but it's really my favorite. So I place that under my eyes and right up on the sides of my nose, because highlighting the sides of our nose can make our nose look a little bit more shapely since we're not contouring today. And I'm just patting that in and blending it in, not too much or too harshly so the product moves around just a little bit so it sets in. And next I'm going to use this golden peach color from the Anastasia Contour Refills just to set right underneath my eyes. And for my last mascara, I'm going to use this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I mentioned before that the Miss Manga mascara was a dupe for this one, so using them both together it gives you big, fluffy, beautiful lashes. And now I'm just going to highlight the rest of my face with that Golden Peach. I want to make sure that since I highlight it under my eyes, that the highlight is balanced around my cupid's bow, around my chin, on my forehead, and down my nose. And now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronzer Fusion. This is so perfect, it blends out so well. I used to use the Anastasia Havana when I wanted just a natural kind of bronzy contour look, but this one has completely replaced it. I love it so much. I'm using the darkest shade 30M, I'm pretty sure, but I will link it down below. And I'm going to place this in all the areas where I usually contour, like around my forehead, on my cheekbones, under my lip, um, on my jawline, and down the sides of my nose. Next, I'm going to use this NYX Baked Blush and Illuminator. I forgot the color, but I will list it down below. It's a beautiful orange gold color. And I was just showing you guys there that it's not very pigmented. So I had to swirl my brush in it quite a bit to get the amount of pigmentation and color off of it that I liked. And this is my favorite highlighter as of lately, y'all. This is the Dose of Colors Highlighter in Sun Kissed. I've been dying for this highlighter for so long. And since I picked this up, I have not touched my Laura Mercier Shimmer Block. And y'all know that was my holy grail, so this one is perfect. I'm putting that on my cheeks, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and I'm going to place that on my nose, just areas where we want to look dewy and bright. And also in the corner of my eyes as well. And here I'm setting my makeup with that same L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder that I used on my eyes. This does not take off any highlighter or add any cakiness to your makeup. It just sets it and makes it look really nice, matte, and clean. 
And in the summertime, I use this Evian spray instead of a setting spray. This spray keeps your skin nice and matte, but also gives a nice dewy and glowy effect. So it's moisturizing, but also keeps your skin matte at the same time, and it's so perfect for summer or if you live in a hot climate. So for look number one, we're gonna use this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. This is my favorite mauve kind of rosy pink color. And next, I'm going to start with my favorite summer updo. I like to pin my bangs back. We're just gonna fluff my hair out first, actually, and then go ahead and pin my bangs back. I do have hair extensions in. I get my hair from the Virgin Hair Obsession. It's Indian Body Wave. I talked about it in a previous video, and it's my favorite hair. I've been using it for so long. So I just pin my bangs back with a bobby pin. And then I'm going to show you the back view of how I twist it around. I literally just twist it around in a circle like a little donut just around one of my fingers. And then secure it with a hair tie. And it just stays. I don't use any bobby pins or anything to hold it in because I like it to be a little messy and fall. But this is how it sits and I love it so much. It's the easiest way to just get your hair off the back of your neck and have a really cute updo for the summertime. And for the second look, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out of the bobby pin and the little bun. And we're just going to go ahead and start fluffing it out. To keep my hair hydrated in the summer, one of my favorite oils to use is the Argan Oil by Organics. It's the Moroccan Argan Oil Dry Oil Spray. And I just spray that on my hands and rub it all throughout my hair and my leave out at the top. And next I take this Victoria's Secret Hair and Body Mist. It's in the Scent Bombshell, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I don't spray this too close to my hair because I'm not sure if there's alcohol in it or not, but I don't want it to dry out my hair. I just want a nice mist of scent. So I just spray that just around my hair. And then I flip my head upside down and just start finger combing it just to get the waves really nice and big. And then I flip my head back over and they're just super nice and fluffy. Um, my hair is already kind of wavy because as I mentioned, it is Indian body wave. So this is how it is regularly. But if you guys do want me to do a hair tutorial on how I maintain it or keep it curly or straight, just let me know. And now we're going to start off with lips. I'm using this Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the color Nude Dark. I think I called it the Stay Sharp Lip Liner in one of my other videos, but it's Always Sharp Lip Liner. And we're going to overline our lips just a little bit. I'm just showing you guys the difference between one side and the other of how it looks overlined. But I don't do a lot. I just go right up to the line and a little over it because we don't want to, you know, make it look a little crazy. So I'm just trying to do it as natural as possible. And then shade a little bit towards the inside of the lips, but we're not going to fill them all the way in this time. And then repeat the same thing on the bottom lip. And next I'm going to go in with MAC Kinda Sexy Lipstick. This is my favorite nude pink color. And I'm going to put that all over my lips and go right up to the nude dark lip liner. But not over it, just a little bit up to it, just so that they kind of mix together. And then I'm going to go back in with the lip liner just to make it blend a little bit better. And next I'm going to go in with MAC SIS lipstick. It's S-I-S-S -S, and it's my favorite nude lipstick. It's kind of a cool color so I always mix it in with something because I don't like how nude it looks. But for this look it looks perfect. And right on top of that I'm going to go in with MAC Pet Me Please. This was a limited edition lipstick and I linked it down below in one of my other videos. But for the prices people are asking for it it's a little ridiculous. If you guys want me to find a link I definitely will. But just letting you guys know what it is. So these are the final looks for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. As usual, all products will be listed in the description bar below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.